Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Uh, today I'm going to be tackling part one of a two-part video on these new Hikvision AccuSense DVRs, or HVRs as they are now called. Uh, the reason why it's going to be a two-parter is we've got the very latest firmware in these new Hikvision HVRs. Part one will be about how to spot the new firmware really so you know what you're buying and some of the basics in the menu which are obviously your playback and your vehicle and human search. And then part two of the video will be about the other nice toys that we've got from this new firmware which is the second generation of human and vehicle detection and a very large change to the live target detection data that you can have on your screen. So, part one today, this is gonna be a really short video, seven or eight minutes. I'm just going to show you how to spot which is which, which is a new version of firmware with the new menu and which is the previous version. And I won't say old version because the previous version of software to this was brilliant. So don't just go out and run around and buy new machines when you see this video you don't need to unless you like some of the new toys that are in part two of the video here we have an eight-way machine as you can see and i always put my side guard and camera up there so you can see it in action the first easy way to tell what firmware you've got in your machine is to have a look on the channels that have no cameras attached to them and it now says hike vision on the previous version of firmware it used to say no video in white if i've got a picture of that i'll bob it in the right hand corner for you so that's how you can tell that this is the latest firmware the hike vision signs are the same as on the nvrs the network video recorders and coincidentally that's where this software is heading Number two, if I get my wireless mouse here, if I was to right click, I would then be pushed directly into a main menu. And the again, if I've got a picture, I'll show you it. You would see eight tabs across the top of the screen. But if I right click here, the floating menu is back. The floating menu that was on the menu, not from the previous version of software, but the version before that. So they've gone back quite a while. And they've given us the floating menu i'll just keep right clicking as you can see it follows the mouse on here we have direct access to the main menu which is there at the top single screen window division previous and next screen start auto switching camera importantly there is a playback button there which is good direct access for the end user and the ptz controller as well so to make this video short, I'm literally just going to left click on menu. Here we go. This is the new menu. The significant changes are, it is now greyed out across here. It's got a grey colour, which used to be white. And of course, like I said earlier on, there used to be eight tabs. So we've got four here. There were four more on the right hand side there, which have gone. Those tabs, if I can remember rightly, one of them was um, the recording control, one of them was the events tab. Don't worry, those features are still there, but they've just simplified them into a menu on the side here we call a drop-down menu. So if I left-click on the configuration wheel here, up comes the new menu with the little sub drop-down on the left-hand side. And there's the event tab, what you would use for your motion detection, line crossing, intrusion detection, and so on. And then is your recording controller, which says record. So you can put your schedule on there, tell it to record audio, not to record audio, and direct access to your hard drive. So the tabs have gone from there, and they've just been moved to here to make the menu more simple. So I do kind of like that. To the left-hand side, we've got a search tab. If we left click on search, we can search for categories on the left hand side in the drop menu, video, picture, event, human and vehicle. Now the two at the bottom are important. I'll click on one of them for you, human. 
always set on today's date when you start searching click on it and we get a quick calendar the month that you're on start and end time date come away from that you have eight analog cameras this is a hvr a hybrid video recorder so it also shows eight ip channels as well and the four ip channels here that we use in unison with the analog channels why are the four ip channels uh, really important good for ptz cameras and really good for height vision doorbells so we like that you can always get your dvr or hvrs as they're now called to monitor those for you click on any channel that you like it lights it up in blue so you can search any channel press search up will come all the snapshots of any human that is seen the vehicle tab is exactly the same obviously if you've got an ampr camera you can put in the license plate and it will search that camera for you as well and even search for the license plate again with an ampr compatible camera to the left hand side is the playback you've all seen something very similar to this before there's your date there pick a date pick a camera Here's our little time bar across the bottom. Midnight to midnight. Play button's in the same place. Fast forward, rewind. Skip forward 30 seconds and back 30 seconds. And there is also a tab for humans and vehicles. If you activate any of those with a quick left click, a little tab will come up and ask you if you want to ignore all the rest of the playback and just have that event, whether it's human or vehicle which is great how simple is that here's our live view back again so again your configuration with your event and recording tab there your search tab videos pictures events humans and vehicles your playback tab and your live view when i click live view i right click again bring up the floating menu the menu tab was at the top and now it says full screen because I am still inside the menu itself. Left click, up comes our full picture. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's just a really quick, short, sweet video on what the new firmware looks like, how to spot it and where some of the more rudimentary controls are. Part two of this video, which I'm going to try and do today, I'm going to do a bit of walking outside for you, even though it's absolutely stinking weather today, will be all about the second generation of human and vehicle detection, which is even more accurate than the previous version, and the live target detection notifications on the screen. If you go down to the description, there will of course be the usual link through to our Facebook page, and I'll put these snapshots on there so you can have a look. And there will be a link to the part two of this video, which hopefully I can get out at the same time as this one. So keep your eyes peeled. I'm logging off for five minutes. Keep an eye out for that new video and I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye now.